We may be on the brink of a breakthrough for an Alzheimer's disease. A new study finds an old remedy might be the key. Researchers tested it on mice and found that lithium reversed damage already done to the brain. Now, lithium has long been a frontline treatment for bipolar disorder. This new study determined that it plays a vital role in brain health and that lower levels of the metal lithium could lead to memory decline. Conversely, steady, normal lithium levels protected mice from changes in their memory and actually restored memory in some cases. Lithium, of course, is dirt cheap. Wider testing could happen very quickly on Alzheimer's patients. Lithium treatment would be a major game changer for the 7 million people living with Alzheimer's in America. That number, by the way, is expected to double by the year 2060. Joining us now is Dr. Howard Weiner. He's a neurologist at Mass General Brigham, and he helped develop nasal spray that could help stop Alzheimer's from developing further. Dr. Weiner, great to have you back. So this new study shows lithium actually reversed memory loss in mice. That's a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very exciting study. This isn't the first time people have looked at lithium. What they did is that they looked at brains of people who had Alzheimer's or memory problems and found that there was a decrease in certain areas of the brain, an area called the prefrontal cortex. There was less lithium there, so they took that as a clue. Then they took mice and they put them on a lithium deficient diet. They took away some of the lithium and they found that they uh, didn't do as well, both aging mice and mm -hmm. mice that had Alzheimer's. And are then we talking, are, Dr. Are we talking about the same lithium that people with bipolar disorder take? It's the same lithium, although it may be a different formulation that they use. It may be a different formulation. By the way, there have been trials of lithium in the last 10, 15 years in people with Alzheimer's with some positive results. Not all the results are positive, but people have been uh, doing this. What makes this an exciting study is the beautiful science that was done looking at the brains, finding out what type of lithium you could give. Uh, so it's, uh, it's very exciting. Are there plans to test this further in humans at these different doses um, and then maybe start prescribing it for Alzheimer's patients? Well, I, I don't work with the team, so I'm sure there are plans to study it more. One of the things is that the blood tests of people with Alzheimer's didn't show lower amounts of lithium. So they have to have a way to, to measure it or to do it. But there's no question that this will lead to studies uh, based on everything we know at Alzheimer's, and it could help. You know, there are human trials already underway with your Alzheimer's treatment, this nasal spray that would slow or stop memory loss. Um, how long will it take these FDA trials to, you know, to come to a conclusion? Can people still enroll in the trials? Yes, uh, our, nasal spray, our nasal spray trial with a drug called Feralimab by a company called Tiziana, it's enrolling now, and I know I spoke to you before, people can uh, write in and we can tell them how they could enroll. Our drug would be three or four or five years away. The lithium, it would take two or three years to try it. It would have to be tried in large doses, I mean in large numbers of patients, but it, it's... Uh, it's three to five years away. Okay, so about three to five years away for both, for the to be widely available, uh, hugely needed right now, very little out there right now to help folks suffering with this disease. Dr. Howard Weiner, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.